Lord Krishna explains to Arjun in chapter 14 of the Bhagavad Gita that man is ruled by three gunas. He says nature has created three gunas which are satgun, rajogun and tamogun. The interaction of these three gunas create action by the person. It is responsible for his character it is responsible for how he conducts himself in society it is responsible for what kind of help he gives to the humanity for its growth at that time the person is only in on the pursuit of knowledge he meets good people where he can learn something and he is always on the lookout of how to improve his contribution to humanity in this connection lord krishna says satgun being pure enlightened enlightens the person and is without any defect satgun breeds real joy and wisdom and is associated accordingly however the rajogun is born out of desire and attachment rajogun binds the atman with action and the results thereof but arjun tamogun which degrades the human being is born out of ignorance tamogun binds the soul with lethargy and tendency to carry out pointless things it also encourages the person concerned to procrastinate he doesn't want to do anything arjun satgun brings peace and joy rajogun is responsible for karma or action and tamogun eliminates wisdom and engages the mind in futile activities satgun spreads by overpowering or by cur- curbing rajogun and tamogun likewise rajogun grows by suppressing satgun and tamogun in the same manner tamogun spreads by suppressing the other two that is rajogun and satgun when satgun grows by suppressing the other two that is rajogun and tamogun it brings greater understanding consciousness and reasoning it is indicative of growth of knowledge and wisdom and arjun the growth of rajogun is indicated by greed selfish thoughts and taking actions with personal ends in view rajogun also promotes the growth of desires and hankering after the worldly pleasures but when tamogun spreads one finds growth of darkness in the senses and the mind and the lack of desire to do one's duty and procrastination useless efforts lethargy and excessive sleep such debasing factors increase and develop arjun asked what should a man do to transcend the rise to transcend and rise above the effects of these three gunas and what should the quality of his actions be the lord almighty said arjun the person who neither grudges nor desires the natural results of these gunas and remains as a witness without getting involved or affected is able to maintain his calm countenance is also never disturbed such a person understands that the actions are the results of interaction of these three gunas he is thus in a position to maintain stability of his mind and he understands the presence of the almighty in all places at all time he has no reason to feel sad or get bewildered at anything because he considers that everything is happening with the interaction of the gunas and since he is a witness he or she will never be involved and therefore they are not affected 
by these three gunas.